Hey there, Sensei Mish here with Artisan Martial Arts and welcome to a new episode of This Old Dojo. Now, we're gonna be working on the wall again. This time, I'm gonna be staining it. And because this is a longer process, this is going to, um, at least for you, it's gonna be instantaneous. But for, for the process of this video, it's gonna take a little bit longer because I'm not only gonna stain it, but I'm also going to varnish it. Um, I'm hoping, cross my fingers, I'm hoping that the stain will actually reveal the beauty of the wood. I mean, yeah, it's only pine, but when it comes to artisan, artisan is artistry and functionality. It's really what it is. We're not just artists, martial artists. We're it's it, an artisan is a is a true craftsman something that somebody that creates beauty and functionality now yes this is this is this will be beautiful but it's also functional it, it's it's a, a border between the lobby and the mat and i have these borders down here just kind of a side note i had to actually put mats down last night for sizing uh to to put down the the, the borders on the other side Wow, it's gonna look great in here. Um, anyway, but with the angle, I can sit and I can lean against it and I can watch classes. Um, functionality, I, I've rounded the corners so there's no sharp edges so people can't get hurt. I mean, if you hit something, you're gonna get hurt. But I've reduced, by rounding stuff off, I've reduced that potential of really, really getting hurt. So um, anyway, I envision this gorgeous stain. Let's just, let's just hope that my vision becomes a reality. Let's get to it. All right, so I am using black, classic black wood stain. Okay, this looks amazing. Let me flip the camera around. So just take a look at that wood grain just coming out. This is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. So of course it's wetter here on the end, but if you can imagine white, white, green mats, and this black 
counter. And of course, that's going to be black. I haven't decided if I'm going to paint or stain that, but this, no matter what, I wanted stained. And um, it looks like it's going to turn out amazing. So uh, we're going to wait 24 hours because this is an oil-based stain, and I'm, gonna, I'm using a water-based, um, uh, what do you call it, a water-based sealer or the Ver for the Verithane. So um, I have to wait at least 24 hours for it to dry and soak into the wood before I use the water base. So um, we'll be back. Okay, so I suck. I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm running short of time when it comes to getting everything ready together. Um, I had a goal of, of actually being ready for inspection. I'm in fact a couple days late on that. Uh, my own personal goal that I set, just because it took a lot longer to paint than, than anything. You can see that the walls are a different color. You can see that this is all painted. So for the wall, um, I actually ended up putting down two, uh, two coats of, of uh, polyurethane and then I sanded it with 400 grit, and then I put two more. I had intended to record that, and I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, just been so just like, go, go, go. Um, I also had planned to, uh, to do a video of me actually painting. You can kind of see, like, it is now all white, and you can even see my wife did uh, the red doors at the end. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what turned out of the, uh, the finished product. So you can see here, look how, I'm, so I use a semi-gloss and you can see um, some of the wood grain. Now this is, like I said, I, st I stained this black, but it is so black that um, it actually looks like I painted it. You can kind of tell somewhere where it didn't, uh, I didn't notice that. There's a, a brush thing, but like where it comes down to the knots, I don't know if you can see, it's a little off colored. Oh, here, here's a better one. You can kind of see the brown in there, but this is smooth. This is so smooth. It's so shiny, it's, it looks great. Um, even though it kind of looks painted. Now, when we get down to here, this only has uh, uh, three layers of, of lacquer on it, but also, also stained black. You can actually tell the wood grain a little bit better. Um, but uh, this is one part of the framing. So you've got about four feet here to here, then there'll be mat. And you can kind of see all the way at the end, that little black line. That is, uh, that is the other part, and it actually goes the width of the school. So uh, this, this looks amazing. I, I love this wall. Um, centerpiece, I guess you can say, for the whole school. Um, anyway, so sorry you missed out on me painting it. <clears throat> so again, I have to apologize missed out on me putting the, the, uh, the, the shellac or whatever, the urethane, polyurethane on there. Um, and seeing that whole process, I suck. Anyway, um, until the ne next episode, if you have not liked, shared, subscribed, all those really cool social media things, please do so now. And we'll see you on the next episode.